All artwork created in this video is copyright Leilani Joy. Artwork may not be reproduced without the written consent of the artist. All rights reserved. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. On today's episode, I'm going to be completing my third and final collaboration piece from my contest, and my final winner is Gabrielle Dillard, and I cannot wait to work with her and um, start a piece with her. Um, before I do that, though, I just wanted to insert a few um, fun things that I've had going on, and the first of which is I recently had um, my photo taken with Adam Busca for the No Hate campaign. And um, if you're not aware of it, it's a really great movement that um, has been started by Adam Busca, the photographer photographer and it's about supporting everyone's equal right to love who they love and I'm a big supporter of that and by doing the photo and putting the duct tape over your mouth and the tattoo it's about supporting not speaking hate against others and not speaking discrimination so um, he did a super awesome photo of me and I just wanted to show you guys uh, here it is right there thank you Adam I love my picture very much so all you have to do to get involved is log on to www.nohatecampaign.com and find out how you can support the movement against discrimination and support the right for everyone to be able to love equally and freely. Anyway, before I get started on my collaboration with Gabrielle, I just want to announce a super awesome project that I have in the works. Um, I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be doing a freelance job and collaborating with Posh Fairy Tale Couture. These amazing headpieces are all designed by Rachel Sigmund, and they are just absolutely incredible, and I'm sure that you're getting as inspired as I am just looking at them. And she has also had the pleasure of working with one of my muses and huge inspirations, Miss Ophelia Overdose, who has modeled some of Rachel's headpieces. So you can imagine my excitement when I found out that she wanted to work with me on an illustration depicting one of her fabulous headpieces. And I'm so stoked and excited and I'm going to be sharing the process of the inspired painting and I'm showing you guys how it develops and turns out and the final illustration. So stay tuned for that. Okay, well without further ado, let's see Gabrielle's original piece that she entered in the contest. I'm also going to show you some of her other work because it's super amazing and I really love it and find it inspiring. She has a really distinct whimsical style about her work and um, we can all take a note from her beautiful line work. So let's get started and um, see what we come up with. So here I have some of the original artwork by Gabrielle Dillard, my contest winner. And I'm just a huge fan of her style and her confidence with watercolor and her original ideas. She also has some gorgeous line work and a very distinct style that I really admire. Um, and I just couldn't help but fall in love with her work, especially this piece, which is her interpretation of Lady Amalthea from The Last Unicorn. Now here's Gabrielle's original piece that she entered into my contest and as soon as I saw it I totally fell in love with it and I knew that I had to do a collaboration with it. I've gotten a lot of questions about how to make your facial features more symmetrical in your drawings and I struggle with this a lot too and um, one quick little cheat um, you can do is you want to fold your drawing in half once you've drawn one eye right down the center of the face then take the blunt end of a pencil and just rub the eye to transfer it to the other side of the face. And once you unfold the paper, you'll see that the eye has been transferred. With my rough sketch complete, next I want to transfer it onto watercolor paper so that I can complete it as a painting. I'm using a light board to do this instead of Sorol because Sorol is kind of messy to use on watercolor paper and it's much easier and faster to use the light board in this case. So to finish off this painting, I want to do sort of a snowy landscape in this snow globe here. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick. I've talked about this a long time ago in one of my other videos. But um, if you're using watercolor, they make something called colorless art masking fluid. And basically it dries to sort of like a plasticky material that protects the watercolor paper. So it will preserve the white areas for you and you can paint on top of it once it's dry and then remove it and the white will be showing through. Um, before you use this, you want to take a brush, um, probably one you don't care about that much, just in case, and then you want to take some soap, dish soap or a hand soap, and you're going to coat your brush in the soap 
before using the masking fluid, not too much, just kind of so it's softened. And that protects um, your brush from the colorless masking fluid um, seeping in and drying and ruining your brush. So before you start with the, the masking fluid, you want to do that with your, your um, paintbrush. Then you're going to go ahead and take this stuff, if I can open it, it's not glued closed, um, and you're going to just start painting in um, where you want to preserve the white. So you'll see I have like a little um, little pathway here that I want to keep white and um, preserve so I can just go ahead and paint uh, a nice even um, background layer over it and not worry about the um, watercolor leaking into the edge of my white area. So this is a good thing to experiment with. Um, it's only for watercolor, it's not for for acrylic or oil or anything like that. Um, just, just watercolor on watercolor paper. And then I'm going to use this little rubber thing that you'll see. And once I've painted all the background in, I will remove the masking fluid with my little rubber pickup. add a nice natural snowy effect to my snow globe. So I'm going to cut out a uh, mask to protect the rest of my painting from my spatter technique. And you can use white gouache or white acrylic or white ink, which I'm going to be using in this case. And then you're going to take an old toothbrush that you don't use anymore and dip it in your white ink. Then you're just going to take your finger and basically spatter the areas that you want um, the um, white to show up. So I'm going to be kind of scattering all over this area to give it a nice natural snow effect. Okay, now to incorporate these two images together using Photoshop. So I'm making a few adjustments here, and I really want Gabrielle's characters to pop background, so I'm adding a little light glow behind them and pushing back the background by fading it a little bit. Okay, you guys, well, my collaboration with Gabrielle is almost finished now, and I just want to tell you a few quick things before I show you how it came out. Uh, first of all, a ton of you have been asking me, when will the next collaboration contest be? And I'm so flattered that so many of you guys want to work with me and um, do this project. Um, but unfortunately, it's probably not going to be till next year or next summer sometime. Um, I really loved working on these collaborations, but they really took a lot of time because I really wanted to do my best and do a good job um, to show you guys how much I appreciated your entries. Um, but sadly, I will now have to focus on some more paying type jobs. <laughs> you know how it is. We all gotta eat. So, probably next year. And yours better be really good because you're gonna have a whole year to think about it. So, get started right now. I'm gonna be expecting a lot from you. Um, next up, I am going to be at the Alternative Press Expo here in San Francisco in October, um, also known as APE, if you haven't heard about it. Um, it's a really cool show, and I can't wait to be involved in it. I've got a lot of work to do before I get out there. So you can find all the information about that right here at this website. It's going to be on October 13th and 14th at the Concourse Exhibition Center. So come and see me and check out all my new stuff, and I'm going to have a little book of some kind. So um, come see what I'm going to be releasing at the show. And I'll be excited to meet you and talk to you about art and stuff. Um, so come on out for that. Um, next, I also have some new stuff in my Society6 shop. I'm always updating it with new things. And um, if your iPhone is in need of a case or your laptop in need of a skin or some kind of Leilani Joy art, 
other than on your walls, then come check it out. Finally, I currently have in the works a frequently asked questions video that I'm hoping to post really soon. Um, I get a lot of emails from you guys of the same questions over and over again, and I thought it would be a great and kind of personal way to create a video where I actually answer those for you guys. So if you have a question that's just been burning a hole in your brain and you really want to know, and hopefully I can answer, um, send me an email to Leilani at LeilaniJoy.com, and I will try to get it in the video if I can. Um, one thing that I get asked a lot, and I can answer right now, is like, how do I improve? How do I get better? And um, that is basically just practice. Just keep doing it over and over again, and I mean, you're going to improve. It's just going to happen. It's just sort of a natural thing. And I was thinking about this the other day because I was going through some of my old videos, and um, this, you guys probably don't know this, but I was a very, very shy and nervous teenager in high school and middle school and things like that and just thinking about talking to people like even on the phone or in front of a class especially I would just be like freaking out and like stumbling over my words and um, when I started this video blog I was very nervous about people seeing me talk and I went back and I watched a couple of them and I was like oh my gosh I'm so stiff and unnatural it's like so weird like check this out welcome to Art Nouveau Hi and welcome to another episode of Art New Vogue. I'm your host. I'm your host Leilani Joy. See what I mean? So if my video blog proves nothing else, it's that doing things over and over again, you're naturally going to get more comfortable and better at what you do. So um, just keep at it and keep practicing and always strive to do better than the last piece that you did. And I always try to do that. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But look at your most current piece and don't try to do the same thing again. Try to do better than that because the only person that you should be trying to top is yourself. So don't worry about what this person over here is doing or that person over there and they're better than you. Just worry about doing better than yourself. And I really think that's good advice and um, I try to do that myself. Okay, so that's it for me. I'm going to show you guys my collaboration with Gabrielle. And finally, I also want to announce that the original watercolor I did for this piece, um, which I'm going to entitle Foreseen Winter, is going to be for sale directly after this video. And, and you can purchase that original, so check out my Etsy shop for that. Alright guys, well that's it for me, and I'm out of here. See you next time.